Hello, I am Andy Pomerantz, Technical Services Manager of Philadelphia Gear. Today I'm standing in front of one of our Model 36 FP right angle pump drives, and we are going to perform a backlash check that can be done externally to the gearbox. So we have set up a dial indicator and using a key stock assembly as, as your radius arm, uh, bolted to the center line of the shaft, and then a couple C-clamps with an extension. We've marked the point, which is the proper radius for AGMA procedures for the measurement to be taken. And the indicator is set up perpendicular to the key stock. We also have a second piece of key that's fit into the, the keyway. That's our handle because we don't want to rotate the shaft with the setup. That will disturb the readings. So we're going to start by rotating the shaft till we feel and hear the teeth come into contact. And we get a measurement of approximately 20 thousandths. And then we're going to pull it back down and make sure it goes to zero. And it does. And then we'll repeat. Up and a little bit more than 20, maybe 21 thousandths of an inch. And back to zero. Now, this measurement is done externally. We could also be set up inside the gearbox and, and do the measurements on the teeth themselves. Uh, that is much more difficult to properly do in the field. Now, we're also doing this with no uh, coupling attached. Uh, far easier to do this with the coupling removed. Finally, the reason we're doing this, well, this is a part of a new build, and we're verifying that we're meeting tolerances. If you do this in the field, it's a valid way of looking for amounts of wear on the teeth. 